GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony. We're on mission two, Mama's Boy. Okay, um, in the first mission, I mentioned that um, you can't replay any of the missions till after you complete the add on. And you just, some of these missions, you will not be able to get all these requirements done first time through. Gracias. ¿Tienes azúcar? No. Mommy, so you. Mommy, Luis. Hey, hijo, ¿quieres un cafecito? Sí, un ching. Un ching. Uh, Luis, this is Mr. Santos. What's going on? Hey, I guess I didn't recognize you from your mom not having any pictures of you up on the walls. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have any up. Now you mention it. I guess mug shots don't sit along too well with graduation shots. Hey, who the fuck are you? Well, it's complicated. Mr. Santos is a businessman. It's not that complicated when you think about it. You see, your mother here has been making that classic American mistake. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. See, I like her. She's a good woman. If I didn't like her, I would have burned this building down by now. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Hey, be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. Huh? How do you sleep at night, man? Loan shocking to all women. Hey, 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 she called me, okay? It's business. We run a service. She knew the rules. She should have read the small print. You know, you really are a piece of shit. I'm a businessman, and trust me, it could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. Your mother told me about you. Maybe you can help me pay off your mother's debt. That way, this building doesn't have to come to an unfortunate end. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. As always, nice to see you, Miss Lopez. Luis, be careful. Yeah, it's a bit rich coming from you. You ought not to judge me, Luis Lopez. You're just like your father. Let's walk and talk. I hope that was you back today. Okay, so first time through this. This guy wants you to take a fall in the third fight. Uh, the little prompt will come up to say, take a dive. And we do that. And at the end of the mission, we'll get our counter in and their time. So we'll have to come back to get the uh, crowd health and player damage. Okay, the player damage will most likely be the hardest one. Uh, it's very easy to beat the level. Uh, but the odds of you not taking less than 10% damage is uh, slim. Unless you're super awesome with your counters, uh, the odds are you'll take more than 10% damage. And the thing is, if uh, any of the opponents uh, get a hit on you, they got like this little flurry that they will get like uh, three to six hits on you before you can kind of snap out of it to do something. And that will most likely be more than 10%, but we'll get into that the later part of the video. This is just kind of introduce you to the cage fighting, and then after this mission, you can come back to do your, uh, uh, say, I think it's bear fighter achievement. Basically, you need to go six levels in here in order to get your bear fighter. That little right there where the guy was against the cage and the outer people were holding him, that's the one requirement where you, uh, it's called crowd help. And I don't know, I get it uh, in the replay part of it, but they just never seem to hold him. And then at the end, it'll say crowd help. And I'm like, well, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, where the enemies kind of get like a flurry on you, and you can't seem to snap out of that. So, the later part of the video where we get less than 10%, uh, you got to try to avoid that little thing happening, otherwise you're just not going to get your 10% in.
Okay, so once the counter happens, you know, he ducks, you want to be quick with your Y or B button and uh, take it back to the opponent. Another kick, and he's done. Okay, so as far as the mission goes, he wants you to take a fall in the third round, and then uh, the little prompt will come up to say, take a dive. And we're going to do that just to fulfill the requirement for the mission. But then uh, after the add-on's done, we'll have to come back and get our less than 10% damage and crowd help. So the little thing came up to say take a dive, so we took a dive. This guy thinks he's all uh, good and all that. Hey man, you know you did the right thing. Nice to see a man like you swallow his pride for his mama. Well, just stay the fuck away from him, okay? You got your money. We done. You listen to me. I was there for your mama when you were. I think you must have lost some brain cells in that fight. Yeah, if I see you again, I'll kill you, bro. I'm out. I love it. You call your mother and say, hey, I took a dive for you. And she's like, I didn't ask you to do that. Anyway, so there's our time. We got it. Uh, obviously, we did a counter or a counter finish. Basically, we did a counter and finished the opponent. Uh, but the, uh, the one with the crowd help, uh, I was just expecting the guys to hold yeah. him, but it never I happened. That fight for you, mommy. You don't know that guy any more money. What do you mean you took a dive? Do you mean you lost? You claim to be some big shot, and you can't even win a fight for your mama? I lost a fight for you, mommy. I didn't ask you to lose no fight. I did not ask for losers in my family. You know what? Forget about it, ma. Just don't go borrowing any more money. See you soon. Well, your mom giving you crap because you can't even beat a fight. You're like, well, hey. you weren't borrowing money from loan sharks. I wouldn't have to do this, but... Anyway, uh... You know, now we're back through the replay option, uh, free the phone, and uh, <clears throat> we come up in here, and it took a few times, uh, mostly because, you know, obviously I can work on not taking damage, but I'm trying to get these guys, you got to push them against the, the fence here, and I was just expecting the outside people to grab him, but it never happens, as far as I can tell anyway. So you got to try to get him against the fence here, which uh, might sound easy, but it's not. I don't know. It looked like the guy kind of tried to grab him there, but uh, I don't know. thought I saw like a hand maybe come through the fence. Anyway, at the end of this, uh, we get the uh, crowd help. I don't know, the guy was up against the fence there. I don't know if anybody grabbed him or not, but this thing's kind of rough, you know? You're like taking on some damage here. Okay, when you get done and you back up the street 
or in the alley with this guy Santos. Do not you try to fucking deal with this guy. You, you pull out your pistol and put one in him. Okay, so crowd help. I mean, you saw it. I don't know. So anyway, that takes care of that requirement. So now we're back again, and we got to get less than 10% damage, which means you can't let these guys get a flurry on you. Otherwise, just reload the game and come back, and which uh, I had to do quite a few times because it's easy for these guys to put a little bit of damage on you. You can still win, but uh, taking less than 10% damage means you're going to have to pretty much not get hit and... Uh, try to counter so when these guys kind of do this little thing where they open up their arms like hey I'm the man or something that gives you an opportunity to come in and put some hits on them so yeah I'm like I'm kind of just running from these guys and trying to stay close enough to possibly get a counter in on them but uh, right there where they do that little thing gives you an opportune time to get in to get some hits on them but don't get greedy Eventually, they're going to snap back, and if they get that little flurry in on you, you're going to take more than 10% damage, so. If you're real good with your reflexes and your counters, then you can just get in there and just pretty much counter their moves and put them down, but uh, there's always a chance that you miss a counter, and they're going to get a little flurry in on you, so. Uh, that's kind of the way I worked it, so when the, the guy gets in, uh, back when the game, or the add-on first came out, there was this thing about trying to jam him up at the door, but uh, it just doesn't seem to work for me, so it's pretty much, you know, you got to duke it out with these guys, and when these guys get all cocky like that, they come in and try to get some hits on them. Okay, when they start to try to run in on you, like I keep my lock on them and just kind of keep backing up and uh, try to get the counter in whenever possible. As soon as they do that, I come in for some hits. But don't uh, don't get greedy, man. Get your hits and back up and just keep uh, working at it. What makes this uh, like a live learn lesson, I actually beat this with less than 7% uh, or 10% damage. I don't remember exactly what it was. But then when I got up on the street, I was feeling so high and mighty. I thought I'd go hand in hand with that Santos dude. And uh, he put a hurting on me and I lost my 10% less damage because I didn't think that part would be relevant to it. But it is. So that's why I was saying when you... Uh, get out to the outside area, just pull your gun out and take him. And then right here, this guy was down, you put a stomping on him. If you get the upper hand, you got to take advantage of that. So he went down, just keep putting a boot to him. All right, so at this point, I haven't taken any damage. This guy gets a hit on me, and I was like, oh, man, I got to have to reload this. But I decided to finish it up, and I was able to get less than 7 or I got 7%. Okay, don't get greedy here. He's going to come back, so. Counter. All right, so we got our time in, so don't worry about it. This is just about getting through this without taking damage. And like I say, don't get greedy. Get your hits in. Try to damage them. And when the opportune time comes, take them out. Counter. Bam. Another kick. There we go. Punk. I'm Lewis. All right. Now, when we get up to the street here, do not mess with this guy pull your pistol out and put one in him what the fuck
Okay, he's got a knife or something. He'll definitely fuck your world up. So, so there's our 100%. Got 7% damage. And uh, Mama's Boy, hope you're liking these videos. Appreciate the thumbs up and subscribing. Uh, Battle of Gate 20 was uh, cool to go through again. And uh, mm. we'll see you on the next mission. Double A Gamer for Life.